Uh, there is a winter storm watch up uh, northern and western counties. York and Lancaster not in that. It's probably going to be most likely more rain. I'm not saying you're not having a snowfall accumulation there. Uh, winter storm watch means four to six inches, depending on where you live. Um, the southern counties, it's going to mix over to some rain. Going to be all rain over toward the Delaware Valley. This is all snow, though. And that's why we're looking at maybe five to up to eight inches. You get up near Lewistown, Simlins Grove, uh, maybe even out toward Chambersburg. Some of the high spots could get six, seven, eight inches of snow the way we see it. However, the computer trends have been a little warmer and a little wetter. So these numbers could come down a little bit if we're going to adjust at all. Otherwise, a couple to maybe a coating in some southern counties right now. It's getting colder. You want cold air before snow uh, if you're forecasting it. But in the meantime, 32 in Harrisburg, mainly clear skies, but a little bit of a brisk wind. We noticed that through the afternoon, still at 14 miles an hour. That's going to settle down overnight tonight. That's going to allow us to drop into the 20s. Now, again, what we'll be watching in the little details now, if temperatures drop a little more tonight, they may not rise as much tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow morning, we're probably in the 20s and 30s, and tomorrow afternoon, 30s to around 40 degrees. A sunny day, just some filtered sunshine with high clouds coming in tomorrow afternoon. So 43 today after a morning low of just 33 degrees. No precipitation in the past 24 hours. We have not had a measurable snow yet. In fact, it's been since last January. Well, the, the latest measurable snow in the in a year was the 23rd of January. Typically we have our first measurable snow by the beginning of December, but here is the storm. It's looking pretty healthy. You can see how circulation is here. You can see that round kind of circulation right there. It looks like this is what we call it's going to open up a little bit. It's going to become uh, weaker as we go through the next couple of days, but there is the storm high pressure came through with this front, maybe a few flurries earlier today. That's brought in some fresh cold air, but we always look for where the high is and our old forecasting rules. We want the high off to our north, but that high is sliding to our south. That's going to allow the winds to come back to the south and then gradually to the east. So it's not going to hold the real cold air. The chilly air is going to stay off to our north with that cold front. I do think it'll be cold enough for some snow, but as this storm slides by, it's going to uh, change over to some rain, lower parts of the valley, and then probably taper off as we head on into uh, so, uh, Saturday night and early on Sunday. So we'll look at the predictor snowfall. Uh, this is the, the uh, predictor just showing us where it thinks the heavier will be pretty much where we're it's lining up with us lesser amounts as you go off to the south. So expect it to come in during the midday and afternoon on Saturday, moderate to heavy snow for a little while. Then it's going to mix over and then a precipitation tapers off after that. The worst of the travel will probably be Saturday evening and again farther north and west. After that storm with the impact there, just light snow flurries or more likely drizzle. We get up near 40 on Sunday break on Monday. Another storm. This one probably more wet, 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 wet and windy as we head into Tuesday. That could be an impact there. A pretty active pattern. You didn't think I'd retire without more work, right? <laughs> Some uh, scattered uh, rain and snow showers may come in next weekend.